when we inquire to any of the faiths, there is a fundamental awe, respect, uh, honoring of what we call the natural world. To love God is to love the entire creation because he's the creator. And God said, I want you to watch over this world. I want you to take good care of my garden. And I keep asking myself, Almighty God looking down on the world today, would he still find it very good? Our civilization has really gone off the rails. For the first time in our species history, we're looking at, at uh, self-destruction. We've known about the human impact on climate for decades, but we have not taken effective action. Our streams are drying. We are getting droughts when there should be flood and flood when there should be drought. We're reaching dangerous thresholds. There is already a massive amount of change underway that's causing a lot of hurt, a lot of deaths, a lot of havoc around the world. We have to acknowledge that there is an urgent crisis. We can't wait for the problem to show its full face to say, let's respond. 23 years ago, the UN member states signed the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change. But signing convention is not the same thing as taking action. The Kyoto Protocol failed, and we failed again in Copenhagen in 2009. In December, the UN Climate Change Conference will take place in Paris. This really is our last chance to head off the disaster of human-made climate change. We have not taken this with the sense of urgency that a real solution requires. There is no way to make this change unless it is a very deep change in our human behavior. We know what to do because we have alternatives. We have different kinds of energy systems, different kinds of vehicles that we can drive, different ways to produce electricity. We are facing not only practical dangers, but really fundamentally a moral question. Do we care? Do we care about those who are most vulnerable now? Do we care about the poor around the world who are suffering massively from droughts and floods? Do we care about our children and future generations? Once we understand that what's happening today and the destruction of the earth is a moral crisis, then we're going to do things differently. We've reached the point of recklessness so that we need religious leaders to speak out to politicians, corporate leaders. We need the moral voices to actually take a greater stand. 85% of the global population belongs to a religious community. This is the largest constituency of the human family. The issue of climate change is one of those issues that truly can galvanize people of faith. This has to move to action. It's time for people of faith around the world to mobilize and to press our political leaders to do the right thing in Paris. It doesn't matter whether you're a believer or a non-believer. Climate change affects all of us. We all have to recognize that the earth is sacred and that we're part of it. You have a calling. You have a sacred mission in the world to care for this creation and care for everyone and everything. If all of us can come together to behold the beauty, the sacredness of creation, we will be empowered to do the right thing.